Hello, welcome to my tech fan. I'm Igor, and uh, in this video, I try to print something from polypropylene, but not really uh, like I expected at the beginning. A few months ago, PP Print contacted me, and in their email, they started uh, that polypropylene is great material, but it is hard for printing because it not really sticks to anything else but itself, actually. And they have a special uh, sheet for this uh, material. And uh, wow, well, I was very interested because uh, I have very positive experience with polypropylene when I was working in the injection molding industry. And uh, I thought I would get something I know for on steel plate, um, and the size or something like that. And I even asked uh, what kind of uh, filament uh, I have to buy because I don't have polypropylene filament at home. And uh, they told me that they would just send their test kit. Uh, important to mention this is not sponsored video and uh, let's take a look of the package. So I have this P filament 721 and uh, maybe 10 meters or something like that. Uh, instructions, printing temperature between 200 and 220 degrees Celsius, uh, bed 70 degrees Celsius but for removal I have to heat up to 100, 110 degrees Celsius for non-destructive removal of the printed object. And also I have this support uh, 279, but I don't have uh, IDEX uh, CD printer, so I, I cannot test this. Also I have this uh, cutter here, and this is that sheet. The size is approximately 140 millimeters in both directions, and uh, it's not on steel sheet, just a flexible. And uh, I also get this uh, sticker. But uh, this means that I have to glue this to my printer, but this is definitely a temporary solution because I cannot let this and after that uh, I have to remove it somehow from the aluminium plate or maybe my magnetic base. So definitely I will not try uh, with the sticker, but I will try to use it with uh, these regular kits and I hope I will get at least a uh, few test prints. The well, content of the package was a little bit disappointing to me because I was hoping that I will have a bunch of test objects, you know, those regular test specimens which I usually uh, use on this channel. But instead of those, uh, mechanical testing of the polypropylene filament, I will just uh, do one print, I will test the bed adhesion to this sheet. This is my regular test object for the bed adhesion test and the print settings are 210 degrees on the nozzle, 70 on the bed and since I don't have info about the cooling so I will just set it to 50%. I'm preparing the test now, this is NS3 V2 with Microsys Direct Direct Solder, but here I already have this magnetic base, but uh, I will not use the provided sticker, I will just try to hold this new sheet uh, with these clips. It says remember the protection foil before use and logo is facing upwards, <laughs> but there is no logo on it. I noticed this later, so this is that logo. <laughs> I think I mentioned several times why I hate this kind of sample filaments without spool, because uh, during the testing it may fall down and uh, similar, so pay attention to this if you are using this kind of filaments without spool. On this printer I have sear touch uh, and I don't have to relevant the bed, only I'm hoping that it will uh, take a touch on the new surface here. Okay, touch on the surface. Uh, the purge line is in air on that part, but... Okay, okay the starting is good. The skirt and the wall looks uh, great, but this infill in the first line is uh, far from perfect. Interesting to notice on first maybe 5 or 6 layers I can see some imperfection where the, actually the part cooling fan was off, but uh, later these objects came out great. Printing is almost finished, but I notice a wobbling of the object because I can see a little bit curling up of the filament and the nozzle touched that material and uh, I hope it will not uh, break off earlier. Problem is that the plate is not fixed. Only when I saw the bridging, closing of the hole, 
I know I can relax and this object will be printed correctly. Only during the video editing I noticed how small is that contact surface and it was a miracle that uh, printing was finished. This could have a great bad adhesion without that warping. Theoretically uh, I should now raise the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius and then I should uh, remove the object but I want to see that uh, what is the adhesion now. Hmm. This was very weak but let's see the purge line. Purge line is, uh, I don't know, acceptable. Uh, let's see the adhesion on the skirt. Actually not bad, like any other material on PI sheet. So this is an object, I can see some minimal warpings. You can see these corners are not too sharp and they're not on nice uh, bottom layer. But definitely yes, polypropylene is printed. And now short conclusions about this test kit and about this uh, print surface. Well, there is a chance that polypropylene will stick to it and you can use it with this material because the polypropylene is very hard for 3D printing exactly from this reason. You don't want to stick to anything. But for this kind of experimenting I need final products. I mean full size print surface uh, maybe on some steel sheet and a little bit more sample filaments. Maybe I wouldn't even accept this review if I would know what is exactly in this uh, test kit. And another suggestion to PP print uh, to place these surfaces on some kind of uh, steel sheet because I'm quite sure that most of the users who want to experiment with polypropylene already did that upgrade to install the magnetic base with some uh, flexible spring uh, steel sheet. That was my experience with this product and uh, if you have some additional comments you know write me a few lines down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!